Good evening and welcome to this uh, memorial meeting which we have called Remembering Yogiya. This is a very august gathering and um, forgive me if I don't mention each of your names but you are all our guests of honor and I really am so grateful to you that you were able to come so that we could have this occasion. This program has been very carefully crafted by uh, Professor Vibhuti Patel and uh, myself. And we have eight or nine speakers, all terribly eminent, and who know Lotika's work very well. And I'm really looking forward to hearing uh, you all. Um, we have also Dr. Nalini Madhavkar, who's uh, going to be singing a few of the Tagore songs, as well as the last <coughs> song, which is one of her favorites, called Thanodhanne Pushpe Bhara, which is by Dale Roy, as you know. And we have, of course, our uh, compare, who's the CEO of the Spastic Society, Vasha Bhutia, who knew her, and she uh, was very fond of Vasha in the last four or five years. So that is the program. It's uh, really a day of celebration. And celebration because she was such an extraordinary person. And she made such a valuable contribution to public life. Uh, and also to some of us personally. So let us sit back and enjoy hearing about her, remembering her, perhaps with a uh, tear and a smile perhaps with a tinge of uh, sadness that she's not with us anymore, but certainly with a lot of joy in our hearts. Because here was a person so great and who was a part of us. So a lot of inner pride that it was a privilege to have known Lodika Sarkar. As far as I'm concerned, my connection with uh, Lodika is personal. And, uh, and yet she uh, influenced uh, my life uh, a lot professionally. Um, personally, you know, we called her Monu. Monu. Monu is a pet name, you know how Bengalis love pet names. So Monu is Lotika's pet name. And I, she is my father's cousin sister. And uh, so I called her Monu Pishi. And uh, I think that uh, really, she, uh, I got intensely uh, involved with her around the age of 16 when I was going to the great and infamous college Miranda House. So <laughs> it wasn't so infamous when we were there, however. <laughs> but uh, my father was very worried and said, no, no, you can't go there to Miranda House. And uh, she said that uh, you have to have uh, Lotika or Monu as a local guardian. And we didn't know what we had got into. I'll just tell you about it. But uh, with me came uh, my very best friend, Juni, uh, who's, uh, who's married to my brother, who's sitting there. And so both of us went off to Miranda House, thinking we were going to have so much fun, all wrong, because of local guardian. That was Lodika. Everywhere we went, we were tracked. And if, if we were going to take an evening pass out, which means you don't come back at 8, but you come back at 11, she would, of course, go into detail. Who are you going with? Uh, what's his background? And everything about his family and uh, where are you going? When are you coming back? And I always remember her puffing away with her cigarette holder, waiting for us at 10.30, you know, saying, you're late. We were late by about five, five minutes, so you're late. Um, what happened? So we said, mumbled something about, you know, the traffic, blah, blah, blah. Unbelievingly, she looked at us and she said, go upstairs and uh, go to bed because uh, tomorrow's college. Strict, but she also had a very, very loving heart. So whenever we were ill, I can still see her. Miranda House is a long drive 
and her mom be she walking with a, a basket and both her hands bringing in stew and soup and uh, apple stew whatever she thought best that uh, for us food and calling in doctor so she was hugely diligent as uh, she was about everything uh, as a local guardian and uh, she she sort of went on getting more and more into uh, our lives and i think uh, she was without fail uh, my intellectual guide uh, in my work and with my father who was another very great scholar and uh, they they influenced me a lot and mono also uh, became a part of the disability movement when uh, um, my daughter malini was born she became involved with disability and this was the first uh, organization that was formed the spastic society of india then this flourished and mushroomed around the country and uh, the second one was in kolkata which was with uh, my uh, friend juni and my brother and sudha kaur and the third one was with uh, uh, monupishi mrs nandi and radhika roy manju dube arun shori uh, anita shori minu jalana a whole lot of women and uh, the vice chair person was lotika sarkar but she did not restrict herself to just one organization she was the advisor for everything to do with disability so behind the legislation of uh, the pda act and the rte more recently she was very involved wanted to know the details about the whole thing and uh, and i think that uh, she, she also gave very astute advice as far as i was concerned i was going to see mrs gandhi i was very scared of course went to her because she was my sounding board for everything and she said be brief no prime ministers have time say everything you want to say in 5 minutes and uh, i was only given 10 minutes to speak uh, to say what i want to do i don't know for some reason mrs gandhi was very keen wanted to hear more about malini and uh, i was there for 20 minutes so um, uh, about monupishi i don't know if you people know very great cook i think uh, usha ramanathan in, in one of her tributes has written she loved cooking she loved anything creative she loved uh, uh, designing sarees and she sent me one which she designed and said from one phd uh, aunt to another phd niece so very uh, loving and humorous and um, stiff up a lip whenever she was uh, ill if you asked her oh i am fine never never any morning nothing so i think the brilliance everyone will speak now the brilliance of her mind and uh, her terrific wit and humor i think we we uh, certainly don't have uh, many people to match lodika sarkar and um, for me i will definitely be losing uh, a friend a mentor uh, a my my intellectual guide my local guardian and um, but of course she will always be with us and today is not a day for being maudlain or morose uh, i wish it to be a day of celebrations that such an extraordinary person touched our lives and we feel some kind of inner pride and a privilege that lotika sarkar was with us and that maybe no more but all her values are there all her spirit is there and all pishi will always live on in our hearts forever